doors closing. So I'm sitting here reading this article, right? And um, I'm noticing that obviously on the heels of Donald Trump having his first um, rally since the shutdown, obviously we're going to have more, more coronavirus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry this is funny to me, y'all. I'm sorry I can't help but laugh. I can't even talk about it without laughing because it's like, did you really not see it coming? I mean, of course... There's more coronavirus cases, right? Of course, they, it's already spiked up to, uh, let's see, what's the number here? Since, since the 16th, okay? Since the 16th, they say there has been 2,383 cases, new COVID-19 cases, okay? And I think they say it was like 500 that, that's been reported uh, over the past this in the two, like 24 hours, y'all. Now, remember when this thing first came out, they were saying that it took two weeks just to get test, you know, just to get the testing back. And I know some people are going to say, oh, the testing is, is advanced. Listen, man, y'all will believe whatever these people tell y'all. That's how I feel about it. Y'all will believe ever, whatever these people tell y'all. If you have not noticed the holes in the story about this COVID-19 thing since the very beginning, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> And it's so hard to really get here and work sometimes because honestly, I get amazed and just I'm I'm just totally at the end of my wits with the stupidity of people. I just can't understand. Like you can't even have conversations um, with people anymore, and especially if you're somebody who's into scripture and you know how what scripture says, you understand really how pointless it is to even engage people anymore because it's literally a wheat and tares thing. But with regards to this COVID-19 situation, listen, man, you've seen this coming a mile away. But see, the thing about it is none of the protesters over the past month have had any deaths or reported any deaths associated to the COVID-19. I, I mean, I, I fail to see anybody who's going out there and saying, you know what? I was protesting this past weekend and I just found out that uh, me and three other people that I was with have tested positive for the COVID-19. Nobody's saying a word, but it, all of a sudden Trump has this Trump rally. And, you know, they want to tell you how there's been 2,300 new cases within the past week. Okay, now look at this. This is what I want you also to see. Because they want you to, they want you to think that when you get out, you should be afraid. They're going to tell you, listen, just, this is what the, this is what the um, article says. Just south of Oklahoma, Texas is seeing a massive spike in COVID-19 cases. On June 23rd, there were... 5,000 new COVID cases reported in a single day. 5,000? 5,000 cases? Now, my question is, where are all the dead people? They have been caught in so many lies, y'all. Listen, they never told you that the redacted footage that they put out leading up to the George Floyd incident is not even the same date as the death of George Floyd. Why, why would they not report this stuff, Okay. Why would they not? Listen, I caught on myself lying about how contagious asymptomatic COVID-19 people were. Now, just take a look at this because I got it pulled up right here. Now, look, they did a study in Europe. OK, 455 people were exposed to an asymptomatic COVID-19 patient and the tr there was not one single transfer. OK, not once. And they got all of the information right here, okay? I'll read the abstract to you of the results. And these are people who did wear PPE and all of that stuff. But the, what they found out, if you actually read the study, and I'll put it up there. If you actually read the study, they found out that there was really no defense for the COVID-19 due to the, even with PPE because most people don't even wear the stuff right, okay? And they know that. There's really no way for you to... There's no way, just like you're going to get a cold or if you're going to get sick, you're just going to get sick. But there's definitely a way to fight this stuff. And for, furthermore, we know from the numbers that the numbers are cooked anyway. So we there's really so much ambiguity on this virus that there's no real reason to be afraid of it. Seriously. But that's what they want to do. They want to make you afraid. But I will read the abstract for you just just for your um, mental whatever so you can like it or whatever I, I don't even know what i'm trying to say the median contact time for patients was four days and that for family members was five days 
Cardiovascular disease accounted for 25% among original diseases of patients. Apart from how, so these were people who already had diseases. Why they tell you if you got pre existing conditions, you're most susceptible to it. This study kills all of that garbage. Cardiovascular disease accounted for 25% among original diseases of patients. Apart from hospital staffs, both patients and family members were isolated medically. During the quarantine, seven patients plus one family member appeared new, resp appeared new respiratory systems or symptoms where fever was the most common one. The blood counts in most contacts were within a normal range. All CT images showed no sign of COVID-19 infection. No severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus. That's what that's the other name they call it. Probably trying to give you even more ambiguity. Uh, infections was detected in 455 contacts by nucleic acid tests. In other words, you've been duped. And the media is the main caveat. The headline is so misleading. And honestly, I feel like the WHO has been doing a disservice to all the work that we have been doing, especially in New York. Detroit, Chicago, cities have been hit so hard. So there is pre-symptomatic and asymptomatic. So people who have COVID are pre-symptomatic two or three days before they get really sick. So they're considered not symptomatic or asymptomatic, right? But they have the virus and they shed it. And we know that. And that's usually the people who are spreading it to others. Now, there are people who get coronavirus and have a very mild illness. What that study says is about 40 to 60% of those patients are who said that they were asymptomatic really did have symptoms. They had some kind of runny nose or a little bit of a fever or some diarrhea, whatever it is, they had something, but they thought that they were asymptomatic. So I think um, studies show in Singapore, Hong Kong, China, I mean, all over Asia, the way they shut this virus down in, in Israel is that people wore masks and social distancing, and I don't think that should change. That's a good point that you make, doctor. Um, and we should point out that the Israelis are actually uh, pulling back on some of their reopening measures because they right. have seen uh, spikes in COVID-19 cases uh, recently. So that has been put on hold. Um, I should also note that The Washington Post had a really interesting uh, story this morning that there are 14 states since June alone, and we're only in the first week of June, mm -hmm. um, that have seen significant spikes in COVID-19 cases. And unlike the early uh, stages of the pandemic, where they were concentrated in the Northeast and New York and California, these states, many of them are in the South uh, and in the Midwest. Um, so the point that you're making, doctor, is the one that I just sort of want to reiterate, that this headline from the WHO is not a license by people to say, well, you know what, I don't need to wear a mask. I don't need to keep six feet apart from people. In fact, that uh, recommendation uh, is still in place because, and it's clear uh, what you just said, that there is asymptomatic and there is pre-symptomatic. In other words, you can become uh, infected with COVID-19 and for one or two days, you can infect other people before you come out uh, and you yourself get sick. That does not mean you were asymptomatic, right? It means you were pre-symptomatic. Right. And most people who thought they were asymptomatic really weren't. They had a sniffle. You have to turn the media off. You got to get to a point where you just stop reading the articles, stop watching the news, stop turning your television on to these different stations. And that includes Fox News. Stop listening to the media. Stop it. OK, they are all in conjunction and you can tell by the way they don't report certain things, certain things they don't report. Fox News tries to disguise itself as if, as if it's conservative and they, they point certain things out that were conservatives. You know, they give some conservatives talking points. But when you take into account some of the things that are not being reported, you realize who the real news story. I mean, the news stations are. And it's a known fact that there, are, there is a CIA server that these people go to to get the news uh, points from. That's, that's a fact. Hi, I'm Fox San Antonio's Jessica Headley. And I'm Ryan Wolf. Our, our greatest, greatest responsibility, responsibility is, is to, to serve, serve our, our Treasure Valley communities. The El Paso Las Cruces communities. Eastern Iowa communities. Mid-Michigan communities. We are extremely proud of the quality, balanced journalism that CBS4 News produces. 
But we are concerned about trouble and trying to be responsible. One sided news stories plaguing our country. Plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish these same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of biased and false, false news, news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media outlets publish these same stories without checking facts first. first. Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms, platforms to push their, their own personal, personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. And this, this is, is extremely, extremely dangerous to our democracy. democracy. This is extremely dangerous to our 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 democracy. And only certain people are um are at, get, given access to this thing, okay? They're getting all their talk, talking points straight from the CIA and they're keeping the masses confused. They're keeping the masses in chaos and they want to bring order out of chaos, okay? That's the whole point of this thing. They want to bring order out of chaos. If they keep the, the chaos going, then you can institute a new way of doing things, which is what they will call it order. We have so much chaos, let's get some order in here. And that's what it's all about. It has nothing to do with the sickness. Okay, how many times have you been out? Think about how many. Think about how many people you see at Walmart when you go. Okay, now, but no, Walmart isn't isn't isn't. Uh, they don't have any cases. They've been taking the same measures that we've been taking. But you mean to tell me Walmart is not the cause of so many different people uh, coming in contact with the COVID nineteen? That's it's just a farce. It's just a farce. If you really sit and think about the things that they are telling you, it makes no sense. Not to mention that they are changing their narratives every, it seems like every other week there's a new narrative. They told us in the beginning, think about this. The CDC, who everybody is, 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 is you know, the, the CDC, their word is the standard, okay? They, they even told us in the beginning that this virus could stay live on the surface for 14 days then in recent weeks they told us well you we don't think that anymore if if a person anybody who's not named cdc kept telling you different things and every, and you caught them in their lives and every time you turn around they're telling you something different about one thing and there's a whole nother thing about another you you know you're gonna stop listening to that person no matter what position they hold it's, if it's a pastor, you won't go back to that church. If it's a, if a if it's a politician, you won't listen to him. Well, I take that back because people don't listen to politicians anyway. That's why they're ready for, to jo vote for Joe Biden. But you know, you understand what I'm kind of getting at. It's the old fable, the boy who cried wolf. I mean, do you not see it? This is this is why I say it's really no use even getting engaged with these people in conversation anymore because it's clear. The Bible calls it strong delusion. For this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. And I think it goes on to say, uh, because they receive not the love of the truth. What happens is these people were given the opportunity to know Jesus Christ or recognize uh, Jesus Christ or the Bible as the truth of God, as the word of God, as the pure word of God. And they rejected it. It's those people who, it's those people who say the Bible is great but or yeah this is a great um reference point but or yeah that's great the bible says this but and they and they continue on looking for some better understanding they rejected the truth and now we're living in a time where god has given them strong sent them strong delusion and that's what we're seeing think about it joe biden has been exposed to be a fraud y'all i mean he's been caught up in lie after lie after lie Meanwhile, Donald Trump has done nothing but what he said he was going to do his whole his whole uh, campaign. And yeah, he was real brash about it. But that's literally the only thing people hate him for because they can't pin policy on him. But yet people still are prepared and will tell you they are ready to vote, vote for Joe Biden right now. That's strong delusion. I'm talking about now. Listen, you got to understand, I don't really hold to the I don't hold 
people who don't believe the Bible to the same standard I do as people who believe the Bible. Okay, I just don't. I don't expect you to act like me or think like me if I'm a Christian. But the Bible tells us to be of one mind. So you can clearly see who are the wheat and who are the tares. We know who the fake church is now. It's the people who are still screaming for Joe Biden. It's the people who are still taking news at face value. I mean, they are really honed in on the lie. God's people will not believe a lie. We know the truth. Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice, and another they will not follow. This is what Jesus said. We, don't, we cannot be deceived, at least not for long. We won't, we won't be fixated on a lie. Not true believers. We don't, we, we're not fixated on a lie, okay? So the, the, the Christian church who is prepared to vote for Joe Biden or, or vehemently against the things of God, I'm talking about stuff like people who, would, when people exalt Barack Obama, even though he used the IRS, weaponized the IRS, and, and, and antagonized Christian organizations, the work of God, he stifled the work of God and and. People in the church are willing to put, still put Barack Obama on a pedestal. That tells me that you have allegiance to your skin color or your political party, but it's not to Jesus Christ, clearly. And so that's what I'm saying. We, we are living in a time right now where God has sent these people strong delusion. We are, we are in a strong delusion period, and you, you can clearly see it, man. Anytime a politician tells you that... He wants to allow a little girl and a grown man to use the same bathroom just because that man has on a wig or he tells you that, you know, he, he believes that this man could give birth to a child and you, you go along with that. That's strong delusion. That's strong delusion because you're tearing down your own nation just because you don't like someone's politics. And you have totally disregarded the Bible, which is given the very foundation of what you say you believe and should believe. The very politics that you're going after, it's a, it's a biblical basis. Now, granted, you know, this country got a lot of satanic stuff going on. And, but at the end of the day, your freedom is given to you by God. You understand? Your right to bear arms, that right was given to you by God. Your right to speak. Your right to say what you want to say, especially when you give somebody the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ, how he was, how he died and was raised again for the remission of sins, his death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Your, it's your God-given right to say that anytime, anywhere. And that comes from the Bible. Whether you like it or not, whether you like this government and support this government or not, that was given to you by the Bible. That was given to you by Scripture. And so for you to reject these things and go for something that is totally against the Bible. I mean, I'm talking about people drinking child blood and, and, and ripping children's face off and, and all kind of satanic things. You're going to side with that against the God that you so claim to love. I think it's strong delusion. You really didn't believe in the first place. You, you said, you said, I believe the Bible, but there's this one part that doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know if I believe that. Or you say, yeah, I believe in Jesus, but you know that whole thing about angels mating with human women. I don't believe that. Oh yeah, I believe in Jesus, but it's no way a woman gave birth that who, who had never um, known a man. There's no way that happened. There's no way a virgin could conceive. The, those are the type of people that we are seeing. They, 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 they claimed to believe the scripture. They claim to believe true doctrine. They claim to believe the, and, and love God. But now we see the wheat and the tares. We see the wheat and the tares. And so this thing with the COVID-19, again, all it is is fear. It's just you using fear tax tactics. And you're getting people to continue to wear masks. You're getting people to continue to stay home. You're stifling the blue collar worker because jobs are being pushed back and people can't even go to work. You know, um, and, and even more people, it's going to get worse. You got to remember, we are five months away from the, really less than five months away from the election right now. It has to get so terribly bad in Donald Trump's America that people above anything will vote against him. And that's what it's for, especially if they can keep this narrative going. They can make the make they can make the whole election be held in house at your house. We'll mail you the ballot here. Mail it back in. But just don't send your COVID-19 with it. It, do, it doesn't make any sense. I think a, a true litmus test of the people who have fallen under this strong delusion 
cloud is the people who who take media and run with it. I'm telling you. I mean, you may not see it just yet, but I'm telling you. I've, I'm looking through scripture, and I can't tell you I've seen people watch, you know, watching CNN in the Bible. That's not what I'm getting at. It's just a clear sign. The media has been caught in lie after lie, lie after lie, and we still run with it. There, in, in places like North Korea, all they have is Kim Jong is great. Kim Jong Un, all they have is good Kim Jong Un propaganda and anti American propaganda. Okay? They're using the same tactics here. That's how you break down a country. Adolf Hitler had a minister of propaganda, and they would put it in the movies, they would put it in the ads, they would put it in the magazines, they would put it in the newspaper. All the propaganda that the Jews are bad. That was, a, that was the bottom line message. That was their propaganda. Jews are bad. So when they start seeing dead bodies piled up of these Jews, oh, well, Jews are bad anyway. See what I'm getting at? It's all propaganda. I'm talking about from Fox News to CNN, NBC, on down, all the way down. I'm not telling you that you should listen to nobody who reports the news, but you should really, really be smart in how you vet these people and, I'm, and what I am saying is if it's on your network television, it's garbage. I don't care who they are. I, I like a few of them. I like a few of the names. I'm not going to lie. But the news stations are in cahoots. It's all garbage. You know, I, I mean, I listen to Hannity's podcast. I don't watch Hannity on Fox News. I like Tucker Carlson, some of the po points that he puts out. Um, but... You know, I don't watch him because I don't know that he has a podcast. I don't know if he does or not, but I don't listen to a, a Tucker Carlson podcast. And I just refuse to watch Fox News. Um, that's probably it as far as Fox, Fox News goes. Uh, anybody on CNN, I totally discredit. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Even, uh, what's his name, Fredo, even was on the record to saying that they have him reporting and saying stuff that he doesn't even agree with, stuff that he knows is garbage. OK, and Don Lemon, come on, man, you're going to sit on TV and call all white men terrorists when you got a white man, a white terrorist terrorizing your anal cavity every night. I mean, come on, this is it's garbage, y'all. It doesn't make any sense to me. MSNBC, come on, Rachel Maddow, seriously, do we really need to go over that? I mean, just uh, honestly, just talking about it, it, it feels like I'm chewing bubble gum right now because it's all just garbage. It's all garbage, man. And if you're taking that stuff at face value, I question your discernment, and I think you might be under strong delusion. I'm telling you, if that's where you're getting your news from, and you're taking it, and you're letting it run your emotions, and how you move, how you live, and how you vote, think about this. Propaganda is, is meant to manipulate people. It's meant to manipulate people. And you're letting it manipulate you, and we know it to be garbage. We know it to be false. We know it to be fake. We know them to be lying about the numbers. We know them to not be reporting about the Freemasons and how they started the KKK and how the Democrat Party laid stake on the KKK under oath in the U.S. Supreme Court. Why wouldn't they report these things? This is what I'm saying. It's all fake. We are Truman, and you are living in a Truman show. Okay? The producers and, and, and the directors are the U.S. government. Cut it off. Door is closing.